Hey everybody, day 269 I believe, and it is July 23rd. It's really hard to believe that I have 10 days left here. Something that I was just processing or thinking about a lot today was the fact that this has been really challenging. And in a good way. I've grown a lot, I've cried a, a lot, done a lot of new things. It's been really good, it's been really horrible. It's been super fun, super exciting. I've met lots of new people. I've been panicky and anxious and sad and homesick. I have been everything in between. Um, and that's just part of it. That's part of the adventure. And it's awesome. And I'm, like I said, I'm growing and I'm learning so much. And I really couldn't be asking for a better experience. And I know I still have 10 days left. So there's still plenty of um, room for more growth and challenges and adventures, but it also is just gonna end soon, and that's crazy. Time really does fly. <laughs> but one thing that I have been contemplating, I suppose you could say, is this idea that I was gone for five weeks. And whenever people would ask me before I left here, they said, how long are you gonna be gone? And I would say, Oh, just a month. Just a month. And I would always use that word, just. Just a month. Just a month. And I don't know if that was me trying to downplay that for myself because I'm like, okay, it's just a month. You can do this. But honestly, I didn't feel like that much because, you know, it wasn't a full year. It wasn't a semester. It wasn't even a full summer. It was a month. You know, five weeks. July 1st to August 3rd. Like, really? It didn't seem like that much in the grand scheme of things. And it isn't that much in the grand scheme of things, but it's still a lot. It was a whole month. It's an entire month. And I realized that downplaying this is really downplaying my accomplishments. And I don't want to do that to myself because what's difficult for one person is not difficult to another person. There are definitely those people who can study abroad for an entire year. My mom went to France, lived in France for an entire year. My brother, I mean, I can't speak for him, but I feel like he could definitely do a semester. He might even be able to do a year. Him doing a month or my mom doing a month might truly be just a month for them, but I'm not them. We're not the same person. And this experience has been a lot more difficult for me. I, I honestly can't imagine doing an entire semester, an entire year. And there's a, a fine line between pushing yourself for healthy risks and pushing yourself in a sense that's too much and can hurt you. You know what I mean? And this is a great healthy push. Like, I, I stepped out of my comfort zone in so many ways this past trip. And at the same time, sitting here, I am so thankful that I get to go home next week. Um, not because I'm desperately homesick, but because I'm, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I like my bed. I like my trampoline. I like my family. I like my friends. I like being in Colorado. I, I want that. And I can't imagine being here for an entire semester, an entire year, an entire summer. It's, um, I'm sure I would get a lot out of it. I'm sure I would grow and I would have a good time for the most part. But there is a chance that that would be detrimental to me as well. And so it's interesting, you have to learn to know who you are and learn what risks are good for you and what might be more detrimental to your well-being. So it's just been an interesting thing I've been thinking about that I really shouldn't be downplaying. I shouldn't be saying I was gone for just a month, just five weeks, whatever, because it wasn't that. It was a lot more. It was a lot of work and a lot of perseverance and a lot of strength and bravery and courage that went into this. And uh, a lot of openness to try new things and a lot of willingness to get out of my comfort zone. And I don't want to downplay it because, like I said, what is easy for some people is really difficult for others. And this has been one of those things that has truly been difficult for me. So I don't want to say that I was gone for just a month. Like, I don't think I was gone for an entire month, a whole month, because that's what it has been to for, like for me. Those are just my thoughts um, that I have been thinking about today. Um, yes. So, anyway, that's that. Thanks for listening, and I'll talk to y'all tomorrow.